So I'm in the Sony booth in the stand office right now with Nori, who is the, uh, you're the product manager? A uh, marketing manager for Cybershop. Okay, excellent. Uh, and then I guess we have uh, it's a, it's a much more difficult than expected view of the Sony RX1. So uh, can you just pull up the camera for me? Yep, sure. Here it is. No idea how long it's taken to see this not behind glass. <laughs> <laughs> So I have a few questions. I guess, uh, first off, like, this sensor, is it unique to this camera or is it used in other Sony cameras? Uh, well, uh, actually, the, uh, this time we, uh, in this photo kino, we've, uh, we're now introducing three uh, full-frame products, yes. the NEX VG900, uh, the Alpha 99, and this RX1. Uh, all the uh, sensors, the basic technology is, uh, is actually the same. So we are kind of, uh, as a baseline, we have the 35 full-frame, full 24 millimeter, uh, megapixel uh, sensor uh, using the same uh, basis technology. On top, we, uh, we align the uh, sensor technology depending on the product characteristics. For instance, in Alpha 99, we have the, uh, the focal plane face detection AF built into the sensor, while this one is uh, the compromise. Uh, Priority is the size, of course, so uh, we did not put the uh, focal plane uh, detection AF on it, okay. and so on. I see. Uh, actually, a question I guess I didn't mention before. Like, um, I noticed too, like, you, you're, there's a shutter in the lens. Yes. Okay, and then can you tell me a little bit more about the shutter? Uh, yeah. Well, uh, this this camera has the uh, the lens is using the lens uh, shutter method, okay. so it doesn't uh, so it's not the uh, how do you say focal plane. Yeah, focal plane uh, shutter inside. Okay, and then uh, I guess what is it like? So it'll, it'll flash sync at every shutter speed then. Yeah, the uh, the fastest shutter speed it goes up to one over two thousand, um, and uh, yeah, with the with the f two point zero, the very very bright uh, capability, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's 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 suitable for the uh, you know the daylight shooting and so on. Uh, can you actually just I just want to just see you just turn that dial again. Just, can you tip the camera towards me? Yep. Yeah, and then just turn that. Okay, so we have aperture control again on a ring yep. on the lens. Excellent. And then here you have the macro switchable lens, okay. plus the focal uh, focus adjustment. Thing. Excellent. Cool. Uh, I guess another question I have for you. Um, I guess why is there no electronic viewfinder? Like we, oh, I really it. like it in the NEX7. I'm guessing the NEX6 has a similar viewfinder. Yep. But uh, why not in the RX1? Uh, well, uh, starting off with the concept of the RX1 is uh, is its uh, compact size. So we we from the beginning we were aiming for the smallest size we could do with the 35 millimeter full frame format. Uh, so uh, in the end we were kind of. Uh, uh, of course, and then comes uh, the compromising point of uh, having the EVF or not. Uh, on the other hand, the other reason is that uh, uh, when we introduced Alpha 99 and Alpha 77 with the, the OLED viewfinder, we are st gradually getting gaining some uh, appreciations and the customers are liking it. But on the other hand, on the other hand we, have, we do understand that the customers like the traditional type of uh, viewfinder, the optical type, uh, to actually see through of what, what you can see. So, uh, so there's the second reason of uh, having the choice for the customers to be able to choose uh, whichever they like. Okay, thanks. Uh, I guess then another part of that question though too is that uh, you've left a hot shoe on yep. so that you can place an external viewfinder, but why does the hot shoe not end up on the corner so that someone can place a viewfinder kind of where you would normally find in a rangefinder? Can I keep your face exposed on the side? Yeah, um, so uh, maybe related to the last question, but uh, the, uh, as I said, the, comp the concept of this RX1 is, the, is its uh, world's smallest size with the best uh, picture quality. So, uh, so in that sense, uh, this uh, RX1, uh, the lens element, because it's a, it's a fixed lens, the lens element and the sensor, it's, it's all aligned to match the best picture quality possible. Because if it was an exchangeable lens, lens as a manufacturer point of view, we had to, uh, you had to have certain flexibility of customers using their own legacy of lenses, maybe in a different brand. So uh, in order to assure the best picture quality with the fixed lens uh, and the compact size, this was the balance we took for our team. Okay, oh, fair enough. Um, I guess uh, questions I can't quite ask, but 
took a look at some of the print samples you had around. Um, the one, but you know, I took a look closely and I didn't notice any chromatic aberration that I would normally notice uh, with, you know, like near the edges with like such a short flange focal distance with not necessarily, you know, like with a sensor that might be might have been pulled from a DSLR mm -hmm. and with uh, such a large sensor now, I guess. What's uh, preventing Sony from running a sensor like this, like a larger sensor in any X style system in the future? Um, like I guess, like, you know, well, basically we're looking for, you know, why why not have the sensor now in a, an interchangeable lens system camera? Ah, uh, okay. Um, well, from the from the beginning of the the, the RX1 concept, uh, the, the, there's the two concepts. As I said, is the, the body size and the uh, the best picture quality. We therefore had the, had no choice of uh, or had it had determined to go for the fixed lens because, as I said, the fixed lens fixed lens type of camera will assure us the best picture quality as a manufacturer point of view to have the best alignment of the uh, the lens optics and the sensor performance uh, together with the Bionce uh, processing. So, uh, so, um, so, yeah. I guess, no, that answers my question. Okay, so like, basically, lens is perfectly optimized in this one single closed system. Yeah. Which now brings me to my last question. What, uh, I guess, can we expect an RX1 like camera with a different lens in the future? Oh, yeah, that's a good question. Well, I guess uh, with the RX1, we are now having a lot of uh, good, uh, like, uh, um Appreciations, appreciations, and uh, a lot of people are uh, really interested in it. Uh, we'll see how it goes, and uh, yeah, maybe in the future that's one of the choices. But uh, we'd like to hear, hear the opinions from our customers. First of all. Sounds good. Anyway, Nuri, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.